Let me just relate one little incident to you. The Boy Scouts of America have got this humongously big scout ranch down in New Mexico. And uh, they run a lot of boys through there, but they also have a training center. And I've been privileged the last few years to go to the training center. These bolo ties, I have furnished them for the adults that complete that course for the last, this will be the 20th year I've done that. But let me tell you about a time down there. I was given the responsibility of working with the 11-year-old scouts. Now, this is a group of scouts that haven't had much experience. They're brand new. And I showed them the bolo ties. And I says, fellas, during the course of this week, we're going to have some contests. And you're going to be able to get a bolo tie if you win. And we dumped the goodie bag out and showed him the ties. And one little fellow, and he was a loudmouth. He went through and found a Nazi with a German helmet with a swastika on the front of it. And he pulled that one out and, oh, man, this is the only one. This is it. <laughs> I laughed at him. Good grief, kid. That's the a, that's a rottenest thing you've ever seen. No, this is the one. <laughs> that's the one he wanted. Well, the first contest came up. And that little tiger won. And he got that bolo tie. And man, he just flouted that in front of everybody. You guys got nothing. Look what I got. This is the only one. About this time, over at the training center, they had a young fellow whose scoutmaster had tried to break one of the rules and get this kid back into the mountain. I forget now just what it was, or he had diabetes or something. But it was one of the illnesses that they will not allow you to go, and it prints it big and bold. If this boy has this problem, he cannot go in the mountains. Well, they wouldn't let this kid go. So he's sitting there, he was from Georgia, and he's there by himself. The whole crew is gone, and he's alone, and he's mad, and he's causing trouble, <laughs> and he's tearing things up over at the camping headquarters. So they came over where we were running a program for boys, and one off would take this kid on. I'm sure. Sent him over. Well, he came over, and he was filthy dirty with dirt. And he had a language that our boys hadn't been hearing. And it was not very nice. And he was mad. Well, to try to make him feel better and all, why, we brought him in and got him cleaned up and had him participate with us, and we got him some food and, and kind of brought him along. But he was still just mean. And we put him in one of the patrols. And the first thing the next morning, the patrol leader from that patrol came running up to me. And we were fixing breakfast. Bill, look, look what he's got. Now, what are you talking about? Well, you know that new kid you sent down there with us? Yeah. This was in his pack. And he had the Nazi bolo tie. And I said, go put it back. Bill, you knew he stole it. You know he did. Put it back. Right now, quick. Bill, he stole it, you know it. Put it back. Oh, man, he was unhappy, but he went back and returned it. Nobody was awake yet, so nobody saw. But that day, the little fellow that had won it was kind of sad and blue and down in the dumps, and he wasn't feeling very good. So when the chance came by, well, I threw an arm around him, and we walked back into the woods a little bit and sat down on a rock. I said, what's the matter? You're not happy today. No, it's nothing. Come on. What's your problem? Maybe I can help you. Oh, it's nothing. I said, what happened to your bolo tie? You're not wearing it. I knew I'd hit a sore spot. I said, tell me about it. Where's the bolo tie? Bill. You know that new kid you sent down with us? Yeah. Nobody liked him, Bill. Everybody was mean to him. Nobody liked him. I'm a, where's the bolo tie? Bill, he needed a friend. My, my tears were running. His tears were running. Eleven-year-old boy sensed a boy that was being mistreated, a boy that was broken-hearted, 
and he gave his most prized possession. Stupid little simple wood carving. But he thought the world and all of it. And he was willing to give it up to help cheer up a boy he didn't know, but who needed a friend. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to help other people at all times, even if I'm only 11 don't know a great deal, I can help. We all can. God bless you in your effort to reach out and be of service. It's a great program.